our first guest tonight is a powerfully funny young man. He's on The Late Show with David Letterman, Conan, and he's a regular at every club in New York City. To the Tompkins Square stage, it's Kevin Brennan. <laughs> Give it up for Jeff, everybody. What's up? So uh, it's East Village, man. I, I'd, uh, I don't come down here very often because I'm a little nervous, but uh, I live in Queens. Yeah. They're selling, they're selling a crack in my neighborhood, finally. You know, I thought, uh, I'm getting drunk after the show. I'm going to get drunk, and then I'm going to call my dad. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're in high school and you're too drunk to drive home, you're supposed to call your dad, you know? They didn't have that when I was growing up, but if I woke up my dad at two in the morning and told him he had to come pick me up because I was too drunk to drive home, my dad would have said, well, try anyway. <laughs> How many beers have you had? Six, what are you, get in that car. Pick up your mom on the way home. So my high school reunion's coming up. You get anyone go to high school? How many people? High school! High school. High school sucks, you know what I mean? I swear to God, I'm not going to my high school reunion. I just decided right now. High school sucks. You know, plus they tell you, they lie to you in high school. My high school counselor, when I was a junior in high school, he pulled me aside and goes, Kevin, these are the best years of your life, so you should enjoy them. I'm like, well then, you should kill me, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I live with my parents, I don't have a car, I never get laid, so if it doesn't like shoot up from here, kill me right now. If you know it doesn't get better than this, kill me right now. But he was lying because even when my life sucks, now it's better than high school. Like even if it sucks, it's better than high school. And sometimes my life is actually good. I was driving through uh, uh, Colorado a couple years ago with my girlfriend and uh, it's kind of a dirty story, but she got bored. You know, we were driving and whatever. And she started like, I was driving and when she was performing sex on me all of a sudden with the good part, you know what I mean? And I was like, and the sun was setting in the Rockies and I was thinking, this is better than high school, you know what I mean? It's like way better in high school. I wish my high school counselor was in the back seat. And I'd be like, isn't this better in high school? Look where her head is, look! And then just then I had to swerve to miss a truck and my girlfriend like freaked out and like bit down on my penis. Yeah, I remember thinking, ow, but this is still better than high school. High school sucks. Someone called, I have the most idiot friend. Someone called me today, left a message on my machine. Uh, the message was this. Call me as soon as you get in. It's very important. And that's it. No name, no number, no nothing. So what am I supposed to do? Try to figure it out? No, you know what I do? I call people I don't know in retaliation. Total strangers. I'm like, I found it, call me. You're adopted, gotta go. I don't give a sh I'm fighting back. <laughs> I fought back today on the elevator. You guys ever been on an elevator? How many people? Let's see some hands. Let's see some hands. My, uh, the guy was running for the elevator. I know this happened to y'all, because it happens to me all the time. The guy, I'm, I got the elevator to my cell. The guy's running, he's like, hold the elevator. Hold, hold the elevator, and I just let it close. But he was fast, and before it closed all the way, he like lunged and he cut his arm, and he cut it off, and it opened automatically. You know, he gets on with me, and I'm like, ha <laughs> I gotta pretend I'm paralyzed. You know, I'm like, can you hit seven for me? Because I really can't. I can't move my arms at all. Hit it! <laughs> so I was, on a, uh, I was at a bar the other night. Why do I go to bars? Tell me why. I, I never have any success getting laid, you know? I can't even have a conversation in a bar. Music's so loud, I just, I just make up stuff now. I'll say anything to women. I'm like, hey, I met Bigfoot. They can't hear me, you know? <laughs> I met Bigfoot. 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 She's like, I can't hear you. Uh, you want to dance? You want to dance? You wanna da dance! You want to dance? You see, you want to dance? She's like, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, can I buy you a drink? Sure. Yeah, you can buy me a drink. <laughs> I didn't know there was drinks involved. All right, I'm, all right, last joke, ready for my dismount. You know, um, I got the Olympic spirit. So, uh, uh, man, it's freaky down here, huh? Lot of, lots of freaks. You gotta be a freak, though, in New York to stand out. You can't be a normal person, you know? Let's say you lived in, like, Iowa, and you walk down the street doing this all day. Nya, 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 nya. In Iowa, they would arrest you. After five minutes, you'd be in jail going, it's just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that, yeah. 
In New York, you can do that all day long. No one will look at you. I did it. Walk down Broadway. Yeah, 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 yeah. One crazy guy came up and said, hey, are you my father? I'm a freak. You guys are a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of the show.